uh, senior station officer Keating from Hallam Fire Brigade, and uh, we're working day shift at Hallam today, and we received a call to a uh, trench rescue in uh, a, new, a new housing estate in Pakenham. Responding on the uh, current SOPs with the, the Metropolitan Fire Brigade trench rescue pod, the regional response also requires response from uh, Dandenong and uh, the British Rescue Brigade, being Nana Goon in this case. Uh, ambulance were on scene and dealing with the, the male trapped in the trench on our arrival. Uh, it appears he was doing some plumbing work in close proximity to an older trench, fairly waterlogged ground. The first task on our arrival was to ensure a safe work environment for ourselves and to ensure that uh, we weren't going to cause any more further uh, collapse of the trench. We had to uh, had to improvise somewhat for Timbers to uh, get a stable work platform. He was in a two metre deep trench and he was he was only approximately head height was level with the with the surrounding uh, ground level, but there's a bit of spoil built up, so he would have only been uh, standing at, at possibly the two metre level. And access to him was fairly easy. The biggest issue that we had was the old trench having slumped in and the continued movement of the soil, wet, very wet soil around that trench site. So uh, after we stabilised the ground and, uh, and removed anyone who was involved in the rescue operation, we commenced uh, some oil removal from around the patient and we had to await the arrival of the uh, Metropolitan Fire Brigade uh, for us to, uh, to conduct which, what was in the end a fairly simple operation. We used, used ply sheeting and the uh, Metropolitan Fire Brigade's quick shore system which is basically uh, a set of jacks that move out uh, hydraulically under pressure, the, uh, the ply sheeting in place. The trench was uh, safe enough for us to get a, a person into, assist with the final excavation of soil. Uh, we were able to dig around him uh, sufficiently enough then that uh, the victim was able to extract himself with some assistance from, uh, from firefighters above. And pretty much walked himself up and out of the trench. We had ambulance on standby, an air wing on standby, and, uh, and thankfully none of those were required. And he's, uh, he's currently being treated for probably a mild case of hypothermia at the moment. No obvious or visible uh, injuries, so it's a good result all around. It's a very good multi-agency response.